think you are not that much familiar like a cos and a sin then also we need to discuss it is pi by 2 it's pi it's 3 pi by 2 it's 2 pi x minus pi by minus pi by 2 minus pi minus 3 pi by 2 minus 2 pi okay I think you already know that for the tan pi by 2 it is indeterminate tan of minus pi by 2 will be that will be indeterminate what is 0 to pi 0 to pi means it is a first quadrant it is which quadrant first quadrant that's why in the first quadrant tan is positive that's why the graph will be like this 0 to minus pi by 2 the graph will be like this okay this is about the first one next pi by 2 to pi means you can understand very easily it is a second quadrant in the second quadrant uh, tan is negative the graph will be downward next again you need to understand pi to 3 pi by 2 it is a third quadrant that's why it is in the third quadrant tan is positive okay now minus pi by 2 to minus pi this is what again in the clockwise direction in the clockwise means it is like this 0 it's a plus pi by 2 it is minus pi by 2 minus pi by 2 again it is minus pi if i am going to take clockwise it is again fourth quadrant third quadrant what is minus pi by 2 to minus pi minus pi by 2 to minus pi it is third quadrant only third quadrant in third quadrant tan is positive then again it will be negative i think you understood the part now concentrate i like to take what about the tan x domain and its ranges okay now concentrate on the board means the graph is moving from which point to which point you can see the line it is from positive infinity to negative infinity for that reason in this tan graph what is the range range is real number system why because graph is traveling from minus infinity to plus infinity that's why it is positive r what's the domain in which domain which will cover only one time real number one time real number means you can say easily this one see concentrate see negative infinity to positive infinity minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 it's minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 but at pi by 2 it is indeterminate i can't define that's why that end point is excluded why it is excluded because tan pi by 2 is indeterminate what is the tan of minus pi by 2 that to negative infinity that's why it is open interval why it is open interval because because it is tan is having for the pi by 2 it is having indeterminate leaving that point remaining points are included now I'd like to take what is tan inverse of x graph tan inverse of x graph will be interchanging range to domain domain to range it will be r to means range as a real number that we are going to take it as a domain and domain as a range minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 is it clear you can draw the tan inverse of x graph very easily got the point clearly okay fine now i'd like to take a one more now means uh, instead of taking one more i'll give the table later we'll discuss remaining three okay concentrate on the board it is very simple to understand now trigonometric ratios trigonometric ratios ratios or you can say it as a inverse trigonometric ratios after that you need you can say it as a domain after that a range okay now then in this one what is the first trig uh, inverse trigonometric ratio that we studied is sine inverse of x what's its uh, domain domain is uh, minus 1 to plus 1 okay now what is the range it is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 you need to remember this one okay then the next one is the next trigonometric ratio or inverse trigonometric ratio is cos inverse of x what is the cos inverse of x a domain minus 1 to plus 1 what's its range its range is 0 to pi 
why we are going to define like this it must be bijective it must be bijective means it is it must be one one and on two in these interval only okay then what about next uh, last two that is tan inverse of x it will be domain is real number system what about the range minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 open interval don't forget to say open interval remaining closed is it clear okay I think uh, you understood the domain and ranges of these three functions. Is it clear? Okay, fine. In the next class, remaining three graph domain and ranges, I will say the values. If possible, I will explain it. Okay, you need to remember this table properly. Fine. Have a nice time. Good day.